Hi, I'm Alexander, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do time lapses and night lapses for the Panasonic G7. This should also apply to the GH4 as well. I'll have a lot of example shots for you so you can get an idea of just what the G7 is capable of. And I'm also going to show you some common mistakes that people such as myself have made so you can learn how to avoid those mistakes and what happens if you make those mistakes. I hope you enjoy. First thing you want to do using the right dial is set this to manual so you can control your aperture and your shutter speed. Then on the left dial you want to turn this all the way clockwise to get to time lapse. Now you need to manually set all of your camera settings otherwise any one of them could fluctuate during your time lapse. Now we'll manually set our ISO limit. Then we'll hit the WB button and manually set our white balance. 5700K is a good daylight setting. Now we're going to hit function 2 and we're going to change our aspect ratio to 16 by 9. I'll show you later why this is important. Now I need to adjust the aperture and the shutter speed to get my exposure to zero. I'm using the top right dials on the camera to do this. You can see the exposure here. Next I'll focus the camera on my subject. Once my subject is in focus, I'll switch it from auto to manual. Now click the time lapse function. Ensure this is in time lapse mode. Set your shooting interval and image count. Note it tells you what time your time lapse will finish at the bottom. Now hit your shutter button and your time lapse will start. When your time lapse finishes, it'll ask you if you want to make a movie. Set your record quality and frame rate, which in my case will be 4K and 24 frames per second. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look at some examples of what happens if you don't do these steps. Um, in our next footage, you're going to see some flickering, and uh, this is because either the ISO, the white balance, or the focus settings uh, slightly change a little bit. Let's take a look. It's also extremely important to put the photo settings on 16 by 9 before you start your time lapse. If you leave it as 4 by 3, it's going to squish the sides of your video. It took some time to get my time lapses just right, but once I did, I started making some beautiful time lapses. In the next footage I'm going to show you, I actually went on a camping trip uh, just south of Zion, and I had some beautiful photo opportunities to uh, make some time lapses. So I was very happy to learn that with my pancake lens, I could actually get the Milky Way with the Panasonic G7, even though it has a micro four thirds sensor. Um, what I'll show you here though is uh, I turned off a setting and it didn't come out the way I expected. I was ecstatic that I could actually see the colors of the Milky Way with a micro four thirds camera. However, I turned off a setting and you can see I have this terrible red noise all over my night lapse. The setting, which is in menu settings, is called long shutter noise reduction. I turned it off because it doubled the amount of time to process my images. I quickly learned that if I was going to do a night lapse, I'd have to turn this feature on and live with the extra time. Now I'll show you the results, and then I'll finish by explaining how to do a night lapse. I had the ISO at 6400 to save time, so there's a little bit of noise, but it turned out to be much better than before. Before I do my time lapse here, I'm going to see what setting 
makes it the best. I've got this on an ISO of 6400 uh, for six seconds, and the aperture is set at 1.7. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it, and now it's holding the lens open. And this is the non sh long shutter noise reduction. Uh, this you have to have on. Let's take a look. And that came out real nice. Let's go ahead and hit the play button and see what that looks like. That's, that's really clear. So I think that's a good setting. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go to my time lapse mode using the left dial. You scroll it all the way clockwise. And you see right now I've got it for 480 pictures. So I hit that. Uh, I want on time lapse shot. I want to hit this shooting interval. Uh, so six seconds is how long we're leaving the bulb open. Then we have the uh, the shutter noise thing, and that's another six seconds. So let's go ahead and we'll leave this not 12 but 13 seconds. So we'll click there. Um, I don't want to be here all night, so I'm just going to do. 240 and that should get me about 10 seconds of uh, good footage don't forget to hit set okay now should be able should be good to go here I apologize for the shaky camera let's see how this works and we'll make sure it comes out nice and clean long shutter noise reduction Get a peek. Awesome. So I got the timer set perfectly. I gave it a second longer than it needs. So that way your timer's not going to be out of sync 